the the inflation momentum is gone in Europe definitely in Germany it's going down the headline figures are still rather high but it doesn't mean very much the dynamics is really downward it's quickly downward the producer prices in in Germany have done a simple calculation if they don't fall further from now uh, will be in September minus 10 the producer prices in Germany imagine has anyone told EGMS has anyone told the public sector unions no, 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 but you see, there is something uh, on wages, but it's not very much. It's not comparable to any inflationary period right, that we had before. 10%? No, no. 10% in two, two years and less than 10% in two years. And uh, two years means 5% per year and then some one-off payment maybe. But that's not inflationary. You see, I, I just told you I have experienced the 70s already as an economist and then we had really inflation. We had 11% one year uh, in, in, the, in the public well, sector. The no, just, just carry on with okay. this premise that the ECB's got to act and do a, a, well, I mean, the, the word, the mot du jour in the States is when's the pivot, when's the pivot? You think the European pivot's coming yeah yeah definitely when well in summertime sometimes in summertime because the, yeah, the, the ECB will be cutting by the summer uh, yeah I think so yeah well you have to be bold in this world <laughs> yes I, Go ahead. I think so yeah because the 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 inflation dynamics is is fading away very quickly as I said we will see uh, producer prices first coming down rapidly 2% will be reached in June maybe in June already or July for producer prices in, in Germany and Europe. This gives a signal that there is nothing in the, but, uh, in the, in the, in the bottle for the next, uh, next month or so. There is no uh, inflation dynamics anymore. And then it will be very difficult for the ECB to defend uh, their, their, their course, which I think is totally wrong, mm. definitely because it was all temporary. These, effect, these effects were all temporary. But I think it's going to change very quickly because the situation is, is really fragile. The economic situation, the real economy is extremely fragile and the ECB will be under enormous pressure. Imagine a headline that says uh, inflation uh, on the consumer level 4%, on the producer level 2%. Well, who, who could say then that this inflation is a danger for the next years or something? There's Nobody. There. Right. And including, including the fact the that you don't think the energy crisis is going to come back to haunt as well. Look, we did brilliantly in Europe last year. We, le we learned about conservation. We learned about diverse sources. Right. We learned actually we need to accelerate renewable right. programs as well. But we're not going to have a resumption of the energy crisis then. The energy crisis, well... The energy crisis, I don't know exactly what it is, but, but the, the, uh, the, the energy crisis of 22 and 21 is over. The prices are all back more or less to normal. The gas price is back, the oil price is close to normal, coal is back, uh, electricity is back. So there is no uh, actual energy price. That doesn't exclude that the shock will come, the next shock will come. But if the next shock would come, it would be absurd for the ECB to, to raise rates again, because how could you? Uh, then you would definitely destroy the European economy and you would again know it's a, it's a one-off shock. Yeah. And, and this, this logic, and that I've missed, uh, I must say, with my colleagues here in the, in the meeting, they're not talking about this one-off shock, and they're not talking about the wage dynamic that is not existent. In Europe, there is a little bit, we have an acceleration of labor costs up to 5 point something percent in the, in the last quarter of last yeah. year, but it's not uh, 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 inflationary dynamics behind it. Okay, so you said so you're, you're one of the only... Uh how can I put it? The senior gentleman in the room who remembers the 70s well. I mean, I was a wee nipper in the 70s. I remember certain parts of it. Yeah. But you were an economist already in the 1970s. Yeah. So why so isn't this the 70s? Yeah, because the 70s, you know, uh, someone mentioned the, the U.S. And for the U.S. In, in the 70s, who knows what was the wage increases in the middle of the 70s in the U.S.? It was something like 15% annually. Yeah. In Germany it was 11. Uh, in Japan it was 25. Wow. Imagine this were raised in the UK, I don't know, more than 20, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Italy 20. Fran uh, France 20. We have nothing like that. We have nothing like that. And so uh, this, is, this is a big success. In my view it's a big success. The unions were reasonable and they're not uh, attempting to, uh, to get everything. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.